afternoon. We are talking about the DJI Enterprise launch, which is coming up on Monday. And it's it's really going to be whether or not this is the drone you're looking for. These are not the droids you're looking for. Um, it's, it's an exciting season we're coming into because I think we're going to start seeing a few releases coming up from DJI. Not quite perhaps in the same way that we saw last year where it was literally, you know, launch after launch after launch for, for a very small period there. But I think it's going to be... Um, we're still going to see some more DJI stuff fairly soon. Um, and Thomas is letting us know that it's actually cloudy in Tipperary. Oh, it's a long way to Tipperary, but uh, it's been far too long since I've been over to my homeland, uh, Thomas. So I hope, you, I hope you're well, sir. So we, we, we're all now used to the so-called leaks. Um, I, I really feel like now we, we are almost all as well ex really accepting of the fact that whenever we get something leaked these days, it really is somewhere coming from DJI. I can't imagine that all of these leaks seem to happen just as that product's literally about to launch. It's almost, it becomes the, 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 the standard procedure of the, the, the artist impression comes out, then a couple of photos, then a photo of it being used somewhere. And then you might get an unboxing or something like that happening on YouTube when best by accidentally release one of the products well it, it does feel like it's in the, the order that they happen in it is something instigated by the manufacturer personally um nothing i have nothing to prove that point and i know that they often do a lot of work to try and stop the leaks but i don't know i'm i'm, I'm not i'm not a hundred percent convinced because again we don't really get the the leaks happening which are out of sync if that makes sense you know we don't two weeks before the mavic 3 we don't suddenly get an inspire 3 huge amount of leaked information it is of course the product that's just around the corner and the fcc filing turns up for and then we get a release on so it's it's interesting um, I do want to give a shout out to Ozita LV and Drone Deals on Twitter for the information. Uh, some of the pictures that I've got here today are from, are from them and also some of the information and speculation as well. There are links to both their accounts in the description. They both um, give, give some interesting information and particularly Ozita LV will give some opinion on what's happening as well. But um, as I say, I'm not entirely sure where all of those things are, are actually happening. And uh, UFO Seekers, great to see you. Hope you're well. Sunny here in California. That's good to hear. Let us know what the, the, uh, the weather's like um, wherever you are actually watching this i'll be interested to know so we have a launch coming this monday from dji well it, it's technically from dji enterprise to be precise uh, which i'll have the details of the actual launch itself later in the video so, so do stay tuned for that and it is pretty exciting especially to the enterprise users such as public safety emergency services inspections that type of thing because this is going to be a large looking beast of a drone frankly now we've we've started to see some sort of almost frankenstein looking pictures appearing across social media um over the the last really about the last week i would say that these started appearing and it appears to show a a new line to the matrice line of drones now we all know that of course the matrice looks a little bit more like this usually um highly effective platforms so you see have it sit on my hand there here goes the thumbnail um, <laughs> um, a highly effective platform um, but you know it, it is a large uh, machine we, we do see a lot of emergency services that actually have these in quick deploy drawers so you open the back of an suv or van and the thing comes out on on a on a, on a plinth effectively ready to fly uh, but they are big they are bulky etc so we're now starting to see what appears to show a matrice craft that looks more like a mavic frankly um, now the, we see these leaks pictures uh, which which again with the dual batteries in the back that type of thing it does appear to be more like a matrice craft than anything that we're going to be seeing from a consumer point of view so i don't think this is going to be anything to do uh, unless you've got an awful lot of money as a consumer of course and want to fly this kind of thing around um, but the people are starting to refer to this as either the m400 rtk or the m30 i quite like the m30 personally i think it, it, it's probably accurate to what, to what to what the name is going to be uh, it's expected the drone will take on the the highly recognized mavic -y sort of looking style line of drone which of course is going to allow it to be something which could be folded away so it, it, it looks really if you look at the back here it looks kind of like twice the height of the of the mavics uh, mainly due to obviously there's a lot of tech on board there's as you'll see on the front there's a lot of sensing going on um and um, um some some complex cameras there as well on the gimbal and it, 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 you can also see at the back here there's the two batteries being loaded in the back which is obviously the first time we'll see that in a mavic style drone but something matrice and inspire users are very much used to so the extra height also means that we're going to see the first downward facing propeller on a mavic style drone the the rear pair let me just go across this couple of these other pictures here so you can see 
So as you can see, when it actually opens up fully, you actually have a pair of them pointing downwards, which is obviously very unusual um, in terms of a, of a Mavic drone. Um, now, although they, they do appear um, to, to move in a different way to most models as well, so these actually appear to open outward uh, rather than the, the, the rear pair flipping over, basically. So it's it's interesting. It's going to be a very quick deploy drone, which again, I think that's very much the key here. It's going to be a quick deploy uh, drone for emergency responders, that type of thing. Especially if you look at things like the. Um, let me just pull this browser up. I don't know where that's gone. Maybe just two seconds. Well, there we go. And we'll get rid of that one. There we go. And as you can see here, with the um, get rid of the Matrice one there, shall we? Then we just two seconds. There we go. As you can see with the, the launch that they're talking about here on the DJI Enterprise website uh, for Everyday Heroes, which is why, again, we're expecting this to be something, a quick deploy drone for emergency services, that type of thing. You can see the little icon on the top there, the little dome, um, and that is very prevalent in um, a lot of the pictures as well um, of, of, of this particular device. So I think that certainly shows us, you can see it there on the top of the drone there, folded away. I think that certainly shows us that this is, uh, this is the drone which is going to be launching. Now the shots do show an array of sensors and camera options that are built in. So we could expect a powerful zoom, maybe similar to the Mavic 3, I think we're going to see here, certainly. Um, the whole setup suggests this is obviously, as I say, going to be aimed at public safety and inspection rather than anything really to do with cinematic flight. This is actually a picture of it out in the wild being flown. Uh, so yes, as, uh, as Thomas is saying, <laughs> Uh, look how thick it is it is indeed in every sense of the word uh, the gimbal seems fixed although in some of the angles it does seem to suggest that you would be able to interchange them out as well but it's um, it's going to be interesting to see from that point of view uh, the, the setup in the pictures appears to show multiple abilities including a tele lens and wide angle combo to offer a powerful digital zoom as well as of course a thermal camera which is very much what you would expect to see uh, on the on this type of aircraft obstacle avoidance appears uh, from these pictures to be six-way sensing let me go back through these pictures again um, now ozita lv has been sharing some of some older patents as well actually of essentially a, a, a drone in a box concept which is this one here and he feels like that this new matrice line would be perfect for it and perhaps we'll 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 actually see this being offered uh, in addition. I mean, he has gone far enough to say that we're going to see two products being launched on Monday and speculates that it could be uh, this drone in a box concept. And again, if you look at this from the point of view that you you see other similar ones, such as the uh, the Axon Photokite drone in a box tethered drone system, I suppose this could work from that point of view that this, this box could sit in the back of the vehicle or even on the top of the vehicle, I suppose. I haven't seen the full specs of this box yet um, and be able to very much quick deploy and also charge within the station, etc. as well, which would obviously be, which would obviously be quite exciting. Now, think with with concepts like drone in a box you're also being able to talking about being able to do things like security flights that type of thing checking the perimeter and returning to its box etc you do need a lot of visual beyond visual line of sight permissions for that which we don't have in a lot of countries yet as far as regulations are concerned so it'll be interesting if it is a drone in a box as to whether how that actually gets deployed um it, yeah it, as i say it's more likely that it will get affixed to a a, a public safety um uh, vehicle so you know fire engine that type of thing um to be able to quick deploy the drone um it, again automation not sure because even the skydio 2 isn't actually um um under the current uk regulations you can't even fly that here so i'm i'm, I'm not sure it'll be interesting it was certainly a, a, a watch term for the launch so i'd expect it to be lots of discussion about getting the drone into the air very quickly which of course is something that skydio with their x um, a range with their with their enterprise range um, is something that which they focus on heavily as well. There's also been a lot of focus on a new controller, uh, which is this one here, and it has been doing the rounds now for a long time. This particular one, and and I think we we all know that, that we're going to see this used in the agrash drones um, for the agricultural crop spraying that type of thing. I think that that's that's pretty accepted but actually with with a lot of the text now coming up a lot of the um uh, uh, the different bits of leaks from the retail side of things it looks like there's going to be multiple models that are going to be able to use this so essentially a smart controller across the enterprise side of things and and it would appear as well as the, the long-awaited in, uh, inspire 3 which i think will be a different drone i don't think this will be um, an, an inspire type drone um then then actually it, 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 this could actually be the controller that is used for this particular one as well but 
we don't have long to wait. The launch is going to be on Monday uh, at 1 p.m. UK time, 9 a.m. E Eastern time EST. Uh, so it is a more convenient time, at least for us over here in Europe, uh, than, than some of the previous launches. Uh, looking at the the Twitter post from DJ Enterprise, uh, they invite us to to join us for the launch uh, event. So it should be more than just simply appearing on on a website, etc. So it's going to be it's going to be interesting. Now we are going to be live ourselves for the event a few minutes beforehand, a few minutes afterhand. So if you are new here, hit the subscribe button to get notified of that show. I'll be joined by my co-host Stephen Sutton of the Flyby Guys to take a look at the new drone and the all-important pricing which i'm not even going to consider speculating because again i'd expect there to be lots of different packages and lots of different types um in there frankly so so yeah so as, as i say thank you very much for joining us everyone i really appreciate you all being here um it's gonna be very interesting to see exactly what this drone turns out to be in terms of price in terms of capability um but yes i think we're certainly looking at a matrice style m400 m30 um a style drone much more in the the mavic uh, um form factor that, that we're used to so um, but looking at those two batteries on the back this is going to be a chunky chunky drone excellent okay i'll see you all next time sean out <laughs>